Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back with another quick video tutorial. Today's topic has to do with starting up your computer and being greeted with a flashing folder and a question mark. What happens when this pops up on screen? How do we troubleshoot it? Is all lost? Let's figure it out. Fortunately, when you do start the computer up and you're greeted with the flashing folder, it's not always an indication of a hard drive failure, which I think is where most people's brains tend to go first. All the flashing folder is really an indication of is a lack of startup options. Now, hard drives can experience failures and give this as an indication, but more often than not, it's something else that's causing it. Clicking the power button and then holding the option key on your keyboard will bring up what's called Startup Manager. If the hard drive is working properly, you should see it appear here and you're more than likely able to click it and start the boot process. If the drive does not appear here, we may be experiencing another type of failure and we're going to need some additional tools to figure that out. Restarting the computer and then immediately holding the Command key and R key on the keyboard will start what's called Internet Recovery. With Internet Recovery, Apple has included some built-in tools to help diagnose your problems and hopefully get you back up and running again. The one that I recommend using first and foremost is Disk Utility. This will show you the physical integrity of the hard drive, as well as any systematic issues that maybe Disk Utility can fix itself. If you see your drive showing up in Disk Utility, that's usually a good indication of the possibility of getting data off of it if it is indeed failing. Drives that have failed tend not to show up in Disk Utility, and if they do, you're often greeted with an immediate red font to indicate a problem. Running first aid on the Mac is usually a good idea to see if there's any sort of file related problems that the system can fix itself. This process usually only takes about three to five minutes, but can take upwards to 20 if the drive is experiencing failures. If you get a green check mark, things are probably okay on the physical drive, and you may just be dealing with a software issue that's preventing you from booting up. Fortunately, Internet Recovery is outfitted with a download link to install the newest version of Mac OS X that you're currently using on your computer. This is incredibly useful if you just need to perform a reinstallation of the system in order to get the thing booting properly again. Reinstalling will take a little time as you'll probably have to download a fresh copy of the OS, but in that meantime, you can be checking for a backup and make sure you're able to restore when things are back up and running again. Internet recovery is an incredibly useful tool and every newer Mac should be outfitted with the software to perform this. One last tip I like to offer is target disk mode and that involves plugging a Thunderbolt or Firewire cable into the Mac and then holding the T key down on the keyboard immediately upon startup. Plugging the cable into another computer hopefully will display the hard drive on screen. If you're able to see the drive, now is definitely a good opportunity to back up any files that haven't been saved already and ensure they're safely on another hard drive. If none of these tips are yielding any different results and you're still booting to a flashing folder with a question mark, you may in fact have a hard drive issue and it's a good idea to see a service provider. Hopefully you found this helpful. We'll talk to you soon.